chapter of al-istinja and etiquette of relieving oneself. It is mustahab, recommended when entering the toilet that one enters with his left foot. Two, one says, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubthi wal khaba'ith. In the name of Allah, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the evil and its people. And when one exits, he should exit with his right foot and say, Ghufranak and Alhamdulillahi alladhi adhhab anni al-adha wa'afani. I seek your forgiveness. Praise be to Allah who has removed harm from me and healed me. Note, the supplication, Alhamdulillahi alladhi adhhab anni al-adha wa'afani, was mentioned in a weak hadith. Therefore, it is not prescribed that one says it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. When sitting to relieve oneself, one should lean on his left foot and set his right foot upright. It is obligatory for one to cover himself with a wall or something similar and distance himself from people if he is in an open area. One must not reveal his aura until he approaches the ground. It is not permissible for one to relieve himself on roadways, in places where people sit, under fruit-bearing trees, in any place that can cause people harm, and in still water. And one does not face the qibla or turn his back towards it when relieving himself. The Prophet ﷺ said, in the meaning of which, when you defecate, do not face the qibla while defecating or urinating, and do not turn your back towards it, rather face towards the east or the west, agreed upon by Bukhari. It is not permissible for one to touch his private part with his right hand, or to use it to clean himself. Enter the toilet with something that contains mention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He must refrain from remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as long as he is in it. Furthermore, it is disliked that one remains in the place where he is relieving himself after he has finished. After leaving oneself, one should perform istijmar with three stones or something similar, which cleans the area. Two, perform istinja using water. It is sufficient to just perform one of the two. In addition, one must neither perform istijmar using dung or bones, since the Prophet ﷺ forbade doing so. Two, nor using anything that is given sanctity.